Okay, so um, I've got to go do the little quest to get in the um, uh, the wizard lab questing. Hold on a minute. Um, I just realized I have another buff here that I need to put down on my on my sheet here. We have we have it's level two. There it is, Cat's Grace. So. It's another nice one. That that uh, gives me some pretty good AC because dexterity can get pretty high there. That also um, also Grimnaw benefits greatly from that. Anyway, I'm just uh, I'm not even going to summon my animal companion yet. Uh, companion yet. And let's see. Uh, we'll put that on though. So we're gonna go finish up these little side stuff that uh, side quests that we had um, Also, I've got all the um, parts to The Neverwinter guy quest whatever his name is Hold on, Let me find it and... No, and yeah, never mind um, let me just go do the the quest for the wizard's lab first. Um, I think the one I missed was in Black Lake. Yeah, I believe it was in Black Lake because it was... Uh, I need um, something of earth. I need like a piece of sand or something like that. Torrin's ring. Oh, Torrin's ring. Wait a minute. I think I forgot to take that back. Yeah, I did. Yep, I did. I need to go take that back to that one guy. All right, so um, I believe the house that I'm looking for is somewhere, somewhere in the Black Lake proper. I hope I still have the key. Yep, there it is. Not sure if, uh, I wonder if these guys are going to spawn again over here. Yeah, there they go. Wow, they spawn each time, huh? Interesting. How much did they give now? Oh, only night experience. Drop another note. Another anonymous letter. Check out that anonymous letter here. Read this letter well. Commit its words to heart, for I am your master, and there are those who would seek to thwart us, the people of the eye. Lady Arbeth has promoted adventures of the militia and sent them out to seek creatures for the cure. Uh, they've already been successful once, and they... Is this, um... This seems like this is the same thing we read before. Let me go see if I get uh, a reward for this. Because it seems like that's just the same letter. I don't think there's anything different. See if this is. Uh, I could still give this to Fent. They can get a reward for it. Hello again, and well met as always. Thought you might be interested in this note. Let me see, Doctor Feelgood. Hmm, the people of the Eye, a cult of never, never winter is dark news indeed, especially one on bent on prevented us from recovering their water digging creatures. Before you launch your time, wait a minute. This is exactly the same thing we went through. Before you launch your time-consuming investigation into some mysterious cult fanatic, you might want more evidence. For all we know, this note is a fake. Uh, why would I fake a fake? Uh, why would I make a fake note about a cult in Neverwinter? Maybe you plan on silly trinkets. Wait a minute, we already saw this. So did he give me? Um, is there some type of reward? So he did give me 50 experience points and 300 gold pieces. And a little bit more. I'm just curious. I, I think, um, I feel like I've done that several times now. I wonder if I could get another one if I went back there. I might just run through there one more time just for fun. Just to see if, like, those guys spawn again and I can get another note for th another 300. And 50 experience, remember. I'm just curious. So I guess he took the note off me, right? Yeah. Okay. 
Anyway. We're on the lookout for something. Hodge Estate, Rum Bottom Estate. Let's see, exit. Uh, let's see. Ward Laid Bear, Mel Dannon's Estate, Millie's House. Oh, Wizard Lab right there. It's over here. So I guess I, um. Guess what? I totally missed that? Or. Or have I been here already? Wait a minute, I think I remember coming here. Yeah, the door's open. Yep, the door is open. And I got whatever it was in here, I think. Yeah, there's the alchemist apparatus. Yep, it's we got this. Doggone it. Okay, so that was gotten. We have all four reagents. You have earned. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as you have. But you must hurry. All right. Yeah, I must hurry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. All right. So okay, where did I not get um a wizard's lab? I'm pretty sure docks. I found one. Peninsula, no, the t Peninsula, yeah, it's Peninsula District, Blackwood Peninsula, there. okay, Peninsula District, that was possible I didn't find one in the Peninsula District, I kind of don't remember finding one in the Peninsula District. Yeah, I don't think I, I think that's what I missed is the, the one in the Pen Peninsula District. I just don't remember remember going to one in the Peninsula District. I think I think it's because I, I don't really think it was on the map. Actually, now that I mean, uh, think about it. See, the prison Q. Oh, okay, there it is, right there. I don't think I visited that one. Yep. Yep. I dare say I don't think I visited that one. Let's go visit it now. Also, I've got to go back to the Beggar's Nest. I forgot this guy's ring, and I've got to do some murdering. Oh, this drives me nuts. See, my, my little icons for my buffs have disappeared again. Why did they do that? This is it, huh? No, this isn't it. Ah, okay. Here it is. Right, we got an earth method, huh? He's gone. That didn't take too long. Ah, stones. Yup! Rare earth clay. There's the last one. Okay, and I believe we should just uh, go ahead and go get our reward now, right? Um, <clears throat> I know someone said that uh, the duration for flame weapon was uh, one turn per level. It's actually it's actually two turns or one hour per level. It's I know it says differently, but it's wrong. The description is wrong. Um, so it it lasts the same time as all my other buffs. All right, so let's talk to this lady. Continue on with our next round of challenges, or did you have something else in mind? Evaluate me for the guild membership. You were sent for four regents, and you have them. Well done. Now you shall face a test of mind and body. You will be teleported to a room where you must destroy one of my automations. Tools will be found there that you will simplify the task. You may take animal companions or henchmen, but you are, are being tested, not they. If they cause you to fail, it is still your failure. Keep them under control. Use the knowledge from my first test and task, and this test will be simple. But if you leave before the automation is destroyed, you have failed. Are you ready? Um, yes. Then step into the portal and the test will begin. 
Okay, so I have no idea what we're in for. I've actually never done this. Um, hmm, divining pool, stones, portal, a mini god. Uh, I cannot tell what I'm looking at here. What is that? Uh, let's see. The construct steers straight ahead, waiting for some predetermined condition to set it in motion. It looks frightening, frighteningly strong and battle-ready. Yeah, okay, so I bet you that, um, let's see, we got the divining pool here. This is the elemental wand of water. Elemental wand of fire. Okay, so we probably have to use all these on it. So Grimna is um, okay. He's able to damage it with his cold uh, damage, so that gives me a hint. Okay, we're gonna use the wand of water on this guy then. Well, that's weird. Ooh, um, hold on now. So I guess we have to kill this thing, right? So we slowed it. Um, let's try the fire wand. Okay, I damaged him. Okay, let's try the earth wand. Whoa, 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 let's not, um... Earth came first. Oh, earth came first. Interesting. Did I just screw this up? <laughs> I think I just screwed that up. Uh... All right. Was I? I guess she said use what you what you've learned from uh, um, my test previously, but I don't think I learned anything from that test previously. Get over here, Grimna. Let's not uh, let's not go over here and get ourselves screwed just yet. Okay, Earth came first. We know that. <coughs> Which I suppose means we need to use the Earth Wand first. Earth came first. And then... Then what? Air? Air, fire... Earth was followed by water. Okay, made a made another good, good lucky break there. Good lucky choice. Um, I'd say air. Let's try air. Next came air, and then we've got fire. Fire is the end, fire is my end. Okay, and I still managed to get this, uh, still have the, the water one somehow. And a sapphire. That sapphire right there, and that's it. Okay, and uh, now I think, let's see here, is there any more crap in here? Nope, okay. All right, easy. When, when you reload. Are you back to continue? Okay, congratulations, you have shown great ingenuity. By destroying my automation, you have earned a place in the many starred cloak. Okay. I present you with this symbol of your guild. Wear this cloak with pride and know that the guild stands ready to serve you in the future. Which means what? Ooh. Oh, nice. Uh, electrical resistance, 10. Fire resistance, 10. Concentration, plus 2. It's not too bad. Not too bad, actually. Not too bad. 
Um, yeah. Well, we'll keep that somewhere. Let's keep that in, uh... Keep that in there. Okay, also we have the Neverwinter stuff. Um, okay, do you have special equipment available for guild members? Ah, so, hold on. So this is the special stuff. Raise dead endurance, okay, higher, higher level spell scrolls, looks like, enemy dead flame arrow, haste, oh, summon creature level four. Frickin' heck. So I had to do that um, to get access to the summon creature level 4 here. Ah, uh, bugger. And somebody told me something interesting, which I didn't know. For sorcerers, you can swap out the spells that you know on a level up. So I could have, like, I could have, like, maybe, like, got uh, summon creature level 4, or what am I at? Level 5 now? No, actually, next next level will be level five, so I can get like summon creature level five. Uh, you know, just learn that, and then like when I when it's not good anymore, then I can swap it out for something else later. I didn't know that. It's good to know. Um, all right. So anyway, well, we've got access to summon creature level four now uh, through scrolls. But but let's see here. How much is it? How much does it cost? 1380? Okay. Okay. Oh, nice in a bag of holding. Um, let's see here. We're going to get that in a minute. I'm just checking to check everything else out. Moonstone mask. Nah. Leather armor. Well, you'd think that she'd give you some, like, mage robes or something, but no. Apparently not. Plus one weapons, which I don't care about. Um, okay, bag of holding. That's that's one of the things that we're going to buy for sure. Bag of holding, a hundred percent. Not just any bag of holding. Wand of stinking cloud. Wand of missiles. Wand of negative. No, 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 no. So it's not actually that great, but I think maybe. I don't know. Maybe um. Maybe she pops up in other chapters, and maybe she has better stuff then. But uh, really not that impressive. It's Phantasmal Killer, what does that do? Okay, well, anyway. That's that. Um, it looks like absolutely possible. It's possible that Potion of Speed is a pretty good price. Unless I'm crazy? Alright, we'll buy a couple of those. All right, now we've got the Neverwinter quest. Actually, first let's go back to um, let's go back over here to the Beggar's Nest because I've got to return a ring. I think I get a little something for this ring, and there's a whole tavern for full of people that I gotta I gotta kill if you know what I mean. whole tavern for a little full of people there. And now all my buff icons are back. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful how they keep popping in and out? Leave us in this barricaded home right here. We found this guy's brother's ring. Um, which means his brother's dead, I guess. Well, at least the zombies have stopped. Do you know anything about that? I'm worried about for my brother. He was mixed up in some cult. I'd like to know where he is. Torin has never gone this, been gone for this long. If you happen by the estate in the northwest, well, this is that's this is my problem. Uh, I found this ring in the cult hideout. Recognize it? That's that was my brother's. He's always had it with him. He's dead. I know it. Thank you. At least now I know. Here, you have been more than helpful. Take this. Persuade. Are you sure you don't have something more? Success. I have a little gold. I suppose you could take it. Just go now, alright? 
Oh, I'll be going. Goodbye. All right, what did, what did he actually give me? Hmm, Torrin's ring? No. This is, uh, this is completely junk. Didn't he give me something? It didn't give me anything that I can see, which is kind of weird. Huh. Okay, um, alright, so let's see, we need to go down to the tavern. That's the other place where I remember there being lots of people. Lots of people to kill in cold blood, if you know what I mean. Shining Serpent, that's it, yeah. Also, I believe that somebody told me that they'd have a reward for me if I ended the, the undead, right? We'll see. Harbin Ashmith. I knew you'd help us buy Williger's whiskers. I heard about what you did before and knew you'd take care of business. If you found anything important that in that mess, report it to Arbeth. She's keeping score or some such. I killed the creature that was causing the undead. I heard you turned it into Arabeth. Good. She'll know what to do with it. Um, reward time, cough up something or I get nasty. No need to get testy. I had gold put aside for whoever helped out. You'll get your share. Here, here's 500 gold for you and an item that I was saving for just the right person. You're a hero and likable too. Persuade, come on now, don't I deserve more than that? Failure, I don't think that that would be very fair. I've paid what I can and there's not much more. I'm very dangerous and worth more than that. Well, you know, I would do that, but there's this thing me and Drake have about bullies. We don't appreciate them. We were short people to help, uh, and you filled the bill. You got your fair share, and now you should leave. Uh, what did I get? Let's see here. Check out this amulet. Let me identify this amulet real quick. Ah, it's a plus two natural armor. Huh. Well, that's, uh, that's something, all right. It's something, but it's not enough of something, bro. Not enough of something. There you go. Now you're going to cough up the rest of that, I assume. Yeah, he didn't drop anything, though. Just poke people with my burning hot sword here. Did this guy drop anything? There were no merchants here that I remember. Or there was a... Maybe this guy was... A, was this guy a merchant? I don't remember. Let me talk to him first here while Grimna is killing everybody. Okay, well, apparently not a merchant, but gonna die anyway. Alright, just for fun. Looked like that's it. There's some people upstairs, looks maybe. Maybe. There's some people upstairs. Uh, probably nothing. Yeah, looks like a whole lot of nothing. I'm not going to bother. Okay. All right, so that was that. Long way to the next level. Let's see here. Um, okay, well. Do we start a Neverwinter killing streak? Um, we're going to go and... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got to do the Neverwinter artifact quest thing. If I remember correctly, somebody over here, so before I kill everybody here, somebody somebody down here, I believe in this place, um, offers me better reward. Is it this guy? What? 
I'd sense I sense a stink of tire upon you. I hear that Olaf is running errands. As you running errands, maybe it, deple it displeases you. Can I hear your, an offer? Care to hear an offer? I will listen. What What do you have to say? Uh, oh, so polite. Bah! I've no use for matters. Can you steal and can you kill? That's what I need. I'll do what needs to be done. What is your offer? The justice of Tyre has a sickening grip on the city. Talona would like to see something happen. Something that will shake the Tyrian faith. My name is Giles. Or Gillies? Gillies, let's say. I need someone to act without conscience and to spoil what the Tyrians are trying to, to achieve. You see what I'm going? You see where I'm going? Uh... You were given a letter by Olaf asking you to find certain tombs and artifacts within. The fools want to strengthen the will of the people. These relics of Haluth never could benefit the Church of Talona, perhaps be warped to her will. And if not, they should be destroyed. Uh, let's see. You wish me to bring them to you instead of Olaf. Olaf and his brethren have no guarantees that these items will stop the plague. They just know they could prove powerful. This is a resource that must be denied to them. Bring the items to me instead of Olaf, and I will pay you far more for the, what, uh, than what he would have. Uh, let's see. Um, okay, I have an artifact from one of the tombs. Well, hand it over, fool. I'm not paying for your oh-so-eloquent words. Uh, okay, well, we're evil. Let's do it. Describe the recovery of the ancient chronicles and never. Self-indulgent tripe! These chronicles will make fine kindling in at the next gathering of malignants at uh, Deernuth. What a festival it shall be! Here, your pay is 600 gold. That is far more than Ol Olaf would pay, and I have given even more. And I may have given even more. Um, but I didn't get any experience? A triumph. For the void in their knowledge of Heloth, such a triumph for the Lady of Poison, there is still more to find. Their further artifacts, bring them to me, and I shall reward your black soul with gold to pay them, <laughs> and more when they are delivered. All right, describe the recovery of Hallow's never rusted, or never's rusted armor. The very shell that Hallow never wore. The stink of him is thick inside it. My masters will see that it is put to good use. Perhaps we'll forge it into a shovel and make it a gift to the city's stables. Uh, that would be fitting. Here's your 600 gold that is far more than Olaf would pay, and I may give, give even more. A triumph forever in the void of knowledge of Haluth. Such a triumph uh, for the Lady of Poison, but there still is more to find. Uh, there are further artifacts. Bring them, to bring them to me, and I shall reward your black soul with gold. Okay, describe the recovery of the ancient holy symbol of Tyre. Well now, wouldn't Olaf like to get his hands on this, hmm? I shall see to it that it is properly disposed of. Here, your pay is 600 gold. That is far more than Olaf would pay, and, it, and I may give, give even more. Victory. Tyre shall never know these things. Whatever the future brings, Talona shall always have this sweet spiteful, spiteful victory. Take the 600 gold, and that Tylona, and know that Tylona, Talona will spare you. That is all that can be asked. You must agree that I am worth more. Success. Your service was greatly appreciated, so I suppose more is warranted. But this boon shall not be repeated. Take this weapon and no more. Ask for any further, and you shall risk the Lady Poison's fury. I demand more. Appease me, or die. Talona will not accept these demands. You get nothing. Risk death on top of it. Be grateful that you, for your life and leave. That will not do. I demand more. Then die. What? What? Talonites? Let's see, did I hit him with fire damage or did that wear off? I think that wore off. Oh, no, you don't. Right. I'm gonna go and turn into a troll here. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we are not going to turn into a troll. Uh, just stood there and he... Well, you know, what did that guy actually give me? Let me, let me just see. What? 
Okay, hold on. What did he actually give me for that? Just gold? Was that it? <coughs> well. What? Let me try that again. I was actually... Yeah, um... The first time when I made that persuade check, he gave me something extra. I want to see what that was. Didn't get it. <coughs> Come on now. Must be a hard persuade check to make for some reason. There it is. Take this weapon. What was a weapon? It was a... The Morning Star plus one. That's pretty, pretty wimpy. Well, you know, I'd like to do this guy's quest, but it really doesn't seem that he gives me all that much. <clears throat> Let me see what I get from what's his face. Actually, the, the quickest way to do that would be to just activate that stone, huh? I've never actually done this quest. Couldn't have been bothered with a lot of that side quests. Okay. Greetings to you again. It is good to see you return to this house of tear. You are way too enthusiastic. I hope there has been some progress with the search for Halut Never's tomb. All right. I uh, have an artifact from one of the tombs. You do wonderful. Please tell me what it is and what I have found. Okay. This one. Excellent find. Every winter will benefit from learning about its auspicious origins. Perhaps we can find a historic president for the plague as well. <clears throat> As I said, you're rewarded here. Take this 200 gold. Okay, your friends would appreciate it. Well, let me see. Like, let me let me see what he gives me total here. Okay. Hold on. Let me reload until he until he, until I succeed at convincing him to give me something special here. Uh, let's see. Adamantite. That's it? Ah. The plagues. Okay. Alright, well, actually, I think we were better off with the other guy then. And it's kind of more to our wood or our alignment there. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah, I wasn't, uh,. That's a really kind of unimpressive. It's unimpressive rewards, you know, no matter what. So, Giles, I guess you get the stuff. Because, uh. What? Aluth was pretty. Ah! Oh! Failed that persuade check for that plus one morning star again. What? Oh well, whatever. Just a plus one morning star. Come on. There we go. Troll time. It's troll time, bro. There you go. Okay, well, I'm sure they didn't drop anything worth taking. Okay, another thing I gotta do. Let's get all the henchman quests done here. Because I've got all the items. Oh no. Cat is. Cat wants food here. So we're gonna talk to everybody here. Greetings. Ah. Uh, let's see. You'll have to forgive me for just skipping their dialogue. It's a lot of dialogue. I don't want to read through all this. All I'm doing is just getting their items yes. and the, uh, you know, the, the small amount of uh, experience yeah. gain from doing their little quest thing here. Yes. It just, it would take too long to read this crap, and it's not very interesting. Yeah. Okay. That's, what's his face? 
and uh, there's my cat. I don't know if you could hear her. <laughs> uh, strength plus one and immunity to fear is not bad, really. Um, okay, so that was, let's see, over here we've got, uh, we've got Sharwin. Who's this? Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay. You gotta be a certain level... Uh, to actually, you know, activate these little quests here. I think it's over five at this point in the game. Yes. And it's chapter three where you can get their final item, which is pretty good in, ca in some of the cases. Actually, it's really good. In fact, not only that, we'll probably, we'll be, um... Belt of Reformer, I should have actually gotten that much earlier. It would have helped with this Persuade rolls. Um, yeah, um, some of these some of these items that we'll be getting, I'm kind of like banking my character on. Hello there. This is another Sorcerer. Looking for a good Mercenary. Yeah, 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 yeah. Persuade a little bit. Is there there you go. Actually, I should have gotten this guy's ring much earlier because it gives uh it gives regeneration here's his ring we're going to be equipping that let me tell you plus one charisma and plus one regeneration regeneration items are pretty rare in this game and it's very useful um and uh it gets up to, I think, plus four charisma. Uh, very useful for a sorcerer. Hey. Mm -hmm. hey. Okay, and this lady gave me an amulet, I believe. Been dying of the elf, but we don't really care. That we're not using. This token can go right here. Okay, so I'm using, let's see. The long death. Belt of the performer and the uh, amulet of the tiger tribe plus one strength and immunity to fear. And I believe that's it. Right? There's only like, wait, what, five? Five guys, built a performer. That the key is the um, amulet, the the ring, the Lantanes ring. Oh, Tommy, we forgot about Tommy. That's right. But we're not going to be really using his item anyway. But that's okay. Uh, let's see here. What what have I got to do? There's there's a merchant right here. I'm going to go check him out real quick. Let's see if he's got anything interesting. Bags of holding. He does have bags of holding, but not any of the really good ones. Yeah, he's basically got a whole lot of nothing. Nymph cloak, protection cloak. No, 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 no. Okay. Should I get one of those bag of, bags of holding? The 80% one? Yeah, I'll get it. What the heck? Is this an 80%er? This is an 80%er. This is another 80%er. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. And we've got to talk to... Oh, let's get uh, Grimna back. Grimna is the guy to go with. Let's talk to Tommy, actually, because Tommy also has a special item. And I forgot where I... Forgot where I left old Tommy. Maybe I never picked him up. I did pick him up, didn't I? Where did I leave him? Oh, crap. Where did I leave Tommy? Oh, I think I left him, actually. I think he was actually in um, the Mercenary Tavern over here. Because I remember I had him. I was I was um, experimenting with killing him for experience, and then I left him in the tavern over here, I believe. Tommy, where are you? 
Where'd you run to? Ah, he's over here, of course. I figured. Yeah, this is where I left him. All right, got his ring. His ring is uh, gives you a plus one to like dexterity and stuff. Uh, good for now, but later on we'll be replacing it with a better ring. Sharwin's contract can go right there, or maybe. Letter from Olaf. I don't believe we need that anymore, do we? Don't need this anymore. Let's find it. Let's find somewhere else to dump all these things. I believe we can indeed. What do I have in here? All oh, these are my scrolls. That's right. Okay. Yeah, all right, so we don't want Tommy here. Talk to Tommy. He's level eight. Yeah, okay. I have been waiting. Is there something? Okay, let's, um... Let's see here, I'm just curious. Okay, let's kill Tommy real quick. Actually, this may, may be harder than I'm thinking. Alright, let's do it. Change it to a troll first, then kill him. I'm just curious how much experience you get from this guy if he's level 8, right? Here he goes, his potion. What did I get for killing him? 36 experience, apparently. Let's see what I get for killing the rest of these guys. Feel what comes, he says. Alright, um, that was alright. Uh, these guys are unfazed by that. Now let me see, this guy, I'm pretty sure that he's not... He's not a very high level right now. Or at least I didn't level him up. I don't know if he... Like, if this character here is... Is just automatically a certain level. Or... Or what. Or if he... He's the level that he was at when I dismissed him in, in, from my party. I don't. I don't know. We'll find out. See how much experience he gives. Okay, I'm betting that that was the case, because he only gave me 8 experience, so I'm betting that um, his level is actually lower. So, let's tell him to level up. Yes. Okay, now let's, now let's kick him out. Where's Grimna? Unfortunately, the problem is at this point I'm not getting any experience from Grimna. Hold on, let me let me get rid of these guys. Okay, let's let's deal with these mercenaries first, shall we? Yeah. 
Okay, so let's go run around and uh, make sure these uh, all these mercenaries are, mercenaries are leveled here. It's body knock. We killed Tommy. Why are you attacking him? And why? Oh my god. Dalen Red Tiger gives us 18. Sharwin. Sharwin now is uh, starting to fight us here. Yeah, hold on. Now, let's just kill Sharwin here. I'm not going to bother trying to level her up first. All right, now that that's done, did they drop anything? She didn't drop a thing. Okay. Still got cracks. Let's talk to these guys and level them up this time. So I, we got 18 from Sharwin, right? something you need level up let's talk to uh Lanou. hey there dear what can i level her up let's get grimnaw back at the party i have been waiting okay grimnaw let's take these guys out back back to wherever <laughs> Yeah, got 36, so I got double the amount of experience. So, alright. So we can safely assume that it's the level that they have uh, when you hired them, or when you fired them, that determines how much experience they give if you kill them like this. <coughs> and you might be saying, well, you're going to piss them off for Chapter 2. But it's not true. I've done it. Um, they completely forget whatever you've done to them in Chapter 2. So it doesn't matter. We're, since we're almost all ready to Chapter 2 anyway. Oh, wow. She gave us 57. Why did she give us so much more? Well, that's pretty cool. It's pretty damn cool. Yeah, we're going to have to kill the merchant, too. He saw it. All right. Back, back to wherever. Comes for us all. There you go. And then Grax, I think, needs to die. <laughs> if he can, he might be immune. Boy, he's got a pretty low armor class, though. Or high armor class. Jeez. I think he might be unkillable. It's... Yeah, it seems like he's unkillable. Um, just the fact that I can't hit him and the fact that he's not responding, he's probably one of those unkillable NPCs. That ah, sucks. Okay, Duke. Hello. Are you Why are you naked? Oh, I'm naked? Oh, I guess I am naked. Look at me. I guess I am naked. Okay, fine. No, I'm not. All right, so we got um, we want to visit all the merchants that have maybe anything to decent to buy before we we hit the road here. Let me see the see your wares here. Did this guy have anything? I believe I got his magic bag off him. I think if I remember correctly, there were two magic bags of a hundred percent in this chapter, and I I actually a third one if you can do the quest for the um, wizard lab. But I'm going to make sure, I'm going to go back to the docks and make sure I got everything there because I know there's there's a couple of merchants here that I saved because I didn't want to kill them. Let's rest real quick and buff ourselves maybe. Or we could buff ourselves if we wanted to. This is, okay, I can't go in there. Uh, 
Oh, I can't get back in the CD tavern, can I? Well, this is not this is not where I wanted to go. In fact, I'm going to even put this here. Potion of speed so I can get around a little bit quicker. Jural. Can I help you? Yeah. Show me your standard fare. Did I get his uh, bag of holding? I believe I did. He also has a moonstone mask, but we don't need that. Yeah, it's a pretty high level spell stuff that we don't need. Okay, one of one of you. Okay, we don't need that. Okay, yeah, I did get his bag. So it's time to die then, Jared. Or Jerrell. Call him Jared. He's Jerrell. Then I, I think I probably threw away the key to that tavern. So I'm going to have to find a way to get in there. He's gone. Um. He dropped something, huh? What do you got? Oh, we could have got some. Oh, and a ring of protection from. No kidding. Well, okay. Um, we can get into that CD tavern because I could just give them the one of these. Uh, one of these. Um, coins here. I believe we can't go through the side. Oh, well, we can't actually. The door's open. No, I opened the door, so it's fine. Okay. Let's go talk to this merchant. Reading. Take a look at your normal items. And he's got, uh, he's actually got a thieves hood, which is really good, but I can't use. It's only rogue only here. He's got, um, oh no, I already have this mask of persuasion, don't I? Agility, let's see here, okay, so we already got that. It's just prices on, well, let's see, so-so. No bags, but he's got a lot of traps. Okay, so he technically doesn't have anything I want, so it's time to kill him. I'm not sure if he actually drops anything. He doesn't. Good to know. We need to find a place to stash all our crap that we are not using anymore. We're going to find, like, I think that chest will do nicely. Yeah, okay, this is a good place to stash, for instance, ancient keys that we're not going to use. Um, that. Masterson's family amulet, I think I can sell that. That ring I can't sell, I'm pretty sure. Body Knox Jim can go over here. I believe that's it. Okay, so that's that. Um, there's nothing else here as far as merchants go. Let's think about. Uh, let's see here. What else is there? There is, I believe there's some more merchants. Where was that last bag of holding that was 100% um, item re or weight reduced? Docks, okay, we've been to the docks. Peninsula District. I know there was, oh, it might have been the Peninsula District. There was a merchant there, wasn't there? I don't think it was actually. I'm going to go really quickly check the Peninsula District. I'm going to quaff a 
potion of speed because I'm tired of being slow here. Yeah, there's one place to check over here and that's it. There really isn't much to this part. All right, it's right over here. Let's check this guy out. If he's still here, oh yeah, he is. Let me see your wares. Were you the guy with the... No. Apparently not. Okay. Did you have anything here? Nope. Nothing. Well, in that case, you've earned yourself a quick death. Here we go. Okay, what else we got? Let's see, there's nobody in the Beggar's Nest, I remember that. I don't believe there's actually anybody in, um... Uh... Let's see... The Peninsula, or the, the Black Lake District, I was just there, and I don't really remember too much there either. Yeah, and I've killed everybody in those places too. So, um, I guess if there's anything anything else to get before I go, it would be in here. Refugee shelter. Is there anything in there? I seem to remember there was some some reason to go in there, right? Let me check it out real quick. No. Thieves Tools plus 10. Actually, those sell for something, by the way. What is that? Wait, what is that? Lesser spell mount. Well, nah. I guess I'll take it. Okay, I seem, I seem to remember there was some significance here. Uh, but apparently not. Okay, so that's that. I'm just checking everywhere before we we can't go back to this chapter. Uh, let's see, Hall of Justice, okay, the Great Tree, the Clock Tower, the Shining, okay, the Moonstone Mask. All right, well, it's time to slaughter everybody then. Uh, we'll start with the people inside, like the Moonstone Mask and stuff. And from there, we just slaughter everybody on the outside. Let's go in here first. This is, um... Hello? Let's see, this is our, um... This is our place to buy and sell. Let's see. Uh, the swordsman's belts, I don't need to buy those now. Gloves of... Gloves of stuff. Gloves of... No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, he doesn't have anything here that's that special. Um, he does have some, some nice arrows. I might want to pick some of these up, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, we want to, might want to pick up some, like, arrows of fire, or does he have them? He doesn't have arrows of fire, I guess. Okay. Well, that's okay. You're right. We can wait till Act 2 then. This is just all the junk I sold him. In fact, let's... Speaking of which, let's sell him some junk, huh? I can't sell that? That sucks. Sell him that. Selling that. Selling the thieves tools. Selling the amulets. Selling that. Uh, okay, so I can't get rid of that then. And that's it. And nothing else I want to buy though. No, I don't 
don't think so. Time to kill. There we go. All right. Moonstone mask time. Moonstone mask time. All right. Where is that fat winch? Alright, let's see about the um, stuff. He's still got a thieves hood. Yeah, okay. But we can't wear a thieves hood, unfortunately. It's a good, good helmet. And he doesn't have anything. Let's kill him. Alright. Everybody dies. Everybody dies. Unfortunately, Mephala is is out to lunch or something, and I can't kill her. Not getting really anything for this experience-wise, unfortunately. Well, there goes the patrons. Let's see here. Can we get up uh, upstairs or something? Let's go upstairs. Bring our death and destruction upstairs. It cannot be done. Oh, it can't. Really? Back. Back to wherever. Hmm. Well, let me try and lock. I'm just sure is curious about the scroll. There were no, I can't get through that. I guess I need a pass coin, and I just killed the guy that gives it. So that's too bad for that. Outside we go, and we continue. We continue the killing spree. Alright, so now the guards give pretty good experience though. Who's Errol? Is a long time. <coughs> um apparently nobody. I don't know. Alright. Everybody dies. Nice. Backhand in them. This guy's got a, quite a few hit points here. Yeah, 30, 30 experience. Not bad. Hmm. Who's in this... Who's in this place? No, no. Let's go in here. I, is this a shop? Winthrop. Greetings. A naked plagued victim, don't touch me. Oh yeah, well, Winthrop. Oh, what? Where, where'd you go, bro? Well, I'm gonna loot your house. A uh, commoner. And another commoner. The silent lord take you. There's a lot less. They're a lot less common than they used to be. That's for sure. I've been killing them like left and right. All right, here we go, Isabon. Punk elf. You'd attack and hold, yeah, before she even finishes the sentence. Yeah, I'll attack this guard. 
30 experience is, uh, you know, nothing to sneeze at this point in the game, I guess. Ooh. <laughs> Troll's attacks are kind of funny. What what was she doing? She was like sliding around on the ground right there. <laughs> and that dog. Dogs always bothered me. There you go. Hello, citizen. What are you doing there? What are you doing, bro? Um, oh, I don't think I've been in here. What's this? Family of three. Callously murdered in their own homes for almost negligible experience. In fact, negligible experience, I'd say. Yeah, this kid. Hey. You are so gonna feel some wrath. Oh, what the invincible kid here? Ah, uh, piece of. Go away, kid. <laughs> Some lady on her on her little mat there. That kid's still following me though. See you later. Hey Kyle, get over here, Kyle. There's a guard, too. Here you go, Kyle. Oh, no, you don't, bro. That kid's, that kid's still following me, dude. I guess they made kids invincible because they don't want you killing them because, I don't know. Maybe they'll ref reflect bad on Bioware somehow. Well, I think I pretty much murdered everybody in the city. Um, still doesn't mean I can't go in here and murder this guy, remember? Remember this guy? You are so... <laughs> My attack is Ow! <laughs> invincible people. Okay, never mind. Probably most of the people left in here are invincible. There's that freaking kid following me again. Tenacious little brat. Okay. Well, I don't think there's much else for me to do at this point other than just to go ahead and, uh... Go, you know, follow the next part of the main storyline. All four reagents now. Quickly, time grows short. You have earned a place of honor among those who sought to aid Neverwinter in these dark times. You will stand with us as the ritual to create the cure is performed. Are you ready to go to the ritual chamber? We must leave as soon as possible. Yeah. Um. Let's let's go and don't bring this kid along, please. Neverwinter has suffered long enough. All right. Uh, probably time to rest. Hail. You have provided a great service to all of Neverwinter in these trying times. As a token of Lord Nasher's gratitude, he thought you might want to bear witness to the cure's creation after all your hard work. Before the ritual proceeds, however, the four assembled would each like the chance to speak with you and offer their personal thanks for what you have achieved. Go on, speak with them. I must inform the town crier of the good news. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Um, four people. Let's see here. That would be Arabeth. Greetings to you. Preparations are well underway for the ritual. If all goes well, we will have the cure in just a few moments. I must say, I knew you would be instrumental in this cause. 
You've always presented the confident look of a person called to action. Uh, let's see. I'm glad this mess is, is over with. When will I be rewarded? Such impatience does not suit you. You will see the fruits of your labors when the ritual is complete. For now, you can leave what must be done to us. You've earned the right to bear witness, however, and I'm sure the others would say the same. Oh, yeah. Yes, farewell for now. There is much I must do to prepare for the casting to come. The incantations are very complex. You should speak with the others. No doubt they will each have their own feelings about how our situation has changed. All right. Well, hello. I imagine you are well pleased with yourself. This is your doing, after all. Um... I did more than you can claim. I got results. Oh, I don't question your results, but I hope you have more to say. More of a say in the outcome. Uh, oh, he said, no, I hoped to have more of a say in the outcome. My Helmite brethren and I have a lot invested in this. Ah, uh, of course, now it is time for you to step aside. The ritual would not require you. You may watch as we create the plague cure, but do not interfere. Uh, okay. Yes, let me concentrate on the ritual to come. Goodbye, Dr. Feelgood. I'm sure you are proud of all that you've done. You should speak with Fenthic and Lord Nasher. I'm certain they would want to congratulate you. We'll begin the ritual when you are uh, through with them. All right. Uh, Lord Nasher. Well, you must be the one Erebeth has told me of. I must say that I appreciate what you have done. Neverwinter is going through a difficult time. It is good to know that we can count on people of quality to assist us. Um, I have questions about your fellows. If you wish information about my trusted advisors, I suggest you ask them yourself. They have been instructed to be cooperative. Farewell. Once again, I am grateful for your service to Neverwinter. There are very few who could have done what you did. Fenthic awaits you. Speak with him. And then we will begin the final incantations. Uh, yeah, okay. Fenthic. Fenthic? Fenthic? What is that hat you're wearing, dude? Hello there. A grand day, isn't it? And you. You are to thank. It was your effort that allowed us to progress this far. You found the water Davian creatures, allowing Dester and his Helmite brother to concentrate on helping the spirits of the people. Now we can construct the cure and all will be well. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I did the important part, Desder sat on his hands. I don't like your tone. You are just like the others. You don't realize the importance of what he's done. Uh, even now, that kind of attitude keeps his hands tied. I have to, well, suffice it to say, it has been hard getting Desder uh, the resources he needs. Really, Fenthic, now is not the time for such talk. Others will not understand likely uh, like you do. Uh, of course, of course, it's better that we look forward, but in a few moments we will have the cure. Uh, well, we'll see. Yes, it is time that I join the incantations. We are moments from the cure, I am certain. All right. Well, so... Time to sit back and laugh at these doofuses. I liked your little arm pump there. <laughs> done. It worked. We have the cure. Yes, Fenty. I have the cure. What do you mean? Ah, uh, Fenty. You schmuck. All right. What did I just do? I did. I thought I cast uh, magic missile on these guys. There you go. How much did I get for that? Thirteen. Yeah. <coughs> it's a bad cough. Okay, erupted my spell casting. Did you? All 
All right, cool. Anything on the remains? Nope, just crap. <clears throat> Hurry! Get through the portal while I can still maintain it. Find the cure. Get Dester and and Benthic too. He may be under a spell. I don't know. I uh, know. I think he's just dumb. Can you imagine? I must wish Benthic harm rather than face the possibility that that he might have known of this. Um. Uh, people will think he did. He supported Dester. Do not say such things. It cannot be. He was mistaken. He was fooled. He was. He was. An idiot. Him. All right. People won't let this pass. They have been denied a cure, and they will want vengeance on the traitor and anyone that helped him. I won't be able to protect him. I won't. Perhaps, perhaps delivering Dester will mitigate things. Find him alive if you can. Find Benthic and get him to... I don't know. I don't know what will help now. Uh... What are you going to do? I'll, I'll maintain the portal as long as I can. But it may be a while before we can send guards <coughs> to you. You'll have to go on your own. Oh, man. I'll also try to make this sound better than it is. I can't hide Benthic's blind trust of Dester. But if I explain it in context, maybe... Maybe... Um... I'll go as quick as I can. Maybe I can catch up. City guards are needed elsewhere, so this task falls to you. As usual. Go before the portal falls. All right. All right. Let's rest. Buffin' time. Buffin' the muffin. So, big buff this time. We got our, um... Oh, no, I just... What in the heck? Oh, and I lost my place, too. What was I doing? God dang it. I'm not sure why it does that. Sometimes when I go to click to target with a spell, it instead just uh, brings up the dialogue with my, with my familiar. I'm not sure why that is. Hmm. Gotta be careful. Gotta be real careful. Oh, and uh, Magic Circle Against Evil is gonna be really helpful here. Just about there. I could just, just as a last measure, I could go Cat's Grace. Here we go. All right, 23 AC, not too bad. Let's go in the portal. Road to Helm's Hold. If I remember correctly, there wasn't really that much here. Dester. Boy, this guy's this guy's avatar is really strange looking. Um yeah, all right. Kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him, and then go in his house and loot. Loot the farmhouse for everything it has, which is pretty much nothing. Oh my god, a light crossbow plus two hell, yes. We'll be keeping that. Thank you. Link crossbow plus two is not a bad weapon. Okay, if I remember correctly, you can go straight to the door, or you can go over here where there's some enemies to fight. I'm gonna go fight the enemies real quick. We got a ghoul lord, a skeleton mage, and a skeleton priest. So. Skeleton Mage needs to go. Die. Alright. 
I'm just going to go through the regular old courtyard there. We don't need to go in the back door. Uh, the, the whole place this map is very tiny, though. Who is this? Yes, you come seeking the traitor, the bringer of disease. You are a fierce beacon of life amidst his undead. The walking corpses are a new addition, though the good people of the Hold have been silent for some time. The false Helmites, they forced the good away, but now even they are not enough for Dester, and he creates a hasty army of dead. Um, who commanded Dester to do all this? I am not here for your questions. I give this insight of my own accord. If that is inadequate, walk away. Dester fortifies here because his role is nearly played out. He is abandoned. He has no bridges left to burn. The dead are plentiful, so he surrounds himself with corpses. It won't be enough. His death is ordained and his life is forfeit. Um, who are you? How do you know these things? I am not here to aid. I am not here at all. I speak so you know that none of this can be escaped. Desta has served his purpose and now tries to defy his fate. Neverwinter will learn to accept such things, even as you are allowed to take him. Remember well this lesson. Okay. All right. In we go to the courtyard here, where we're going to fight a bunch of undead here. Now, wait a minute now. Ah, I failed to save der versus death. In fact, I rolled a one and instantly died to that. That's wonderful. Okay. Even though I should be protected from that crap because I've got that magic circle up. Holy crap, dude. Hold on. Let me change into a, a thing here. And is it just me, or... Oh, okay, there's my minions. <clears throat> These guys are really, really annoying, and they keep throwing that death thing at me. Familiar insta-died there. Grimnaw insta dies. What in the heck? I don't have anything that makes me immune to that, unfortunately. Let's see here if we can uh, get these guys with fireball. This was easier as a um, as a uh, cleric because I remember I had the um, the spell that made me immune to that stupid stuff. Holy crap, dude! God. Yeah, as a cleric, I had the, the stuff that made me immune to that was the thing. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, maybe I just fireball these guys to death. Let's try that. Grimnaw's gym. Not sure why it's there. Okay. So were these guys, were these guys always... Um, these guys always there or did they just appear badly wounded jeez with that crap it's bodak it's a bodak that's doing that okay i'm gonna try to fireball here Okay, well, they're, they aren't particularly weak to fireball, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. Well, I'm not sure what to do. I might have to just avoid this part because these guys are actually kind of um, irritating. Yep, I might have to just totally avoid that part. 
All right, so that's all right. Uh, we will skip that because those guys are pretty bull crap. If you're not a cleric anyway. Yeah, so they got that instant death attack that uh, all it takes is one failed roll and you're dead. And I think it was um, the cleric has like spells that make can make them immune to death instant or death attacks. I do not, however, I don't believe, or I might, but I definitely didn't take it. I thought um, Magic Circle against Evil would have worked in that case, but apparently it didn't. It should, though, theor theoretically. Hmm, nice unidentified belt there. Okay. Is that it? Just one skeleton? No, we got a couple of skeletons. That's that. Now there's one part that I want to do over here just for the experience. It gives a lot of experience for fighting these guys over here, but they're really hard to hit. Really, really hard to hit. Yeah, this is them. I'm going to go ahead and switch into a troll. That's pretty much the only chance I have of hitting these guys is as a troll. Or actually surviving, not necessarily hitting, but surviving. In fact, they're they're still hitting me a lot. Since my AC is twenty six too, which is too bad. Is that is this the hard one? There's one of them that's really, really hard to hit. Might be this guy. We're getting him though. There you go. Got him. No, I think it's this guy that's the guy that's really hard to hit. We are really having trouble with this guy. I might actually try True Strike. Oh, what? I rolled a one. You son of a gun. I rolled a one. After true strike, I rolled a one. Do I get another attack in this round? I... Not with true strike on. That sucks. Oh, Grimnog got him. 
Yeah, this is the one. One of these guys has an unusually low armor class for some reason. I'm going to change into... Shape change. I'm going to change into a, a number hulk here. The number hulk has a pretty good chance to hit. This guy is really, really hard to hit, but this guy is this is the guy that gives the most experience when you kill him. Looks like my strength buff is worn off too, or at least it, or maybe I never cast it. He's also beating me up. drink a potion of bark skin because this is ridiculous how much you think okay now I have 35 freaking armor class at this point in the game that's pretty good he shouldn't be hitting me all right get him all right kill him kill him Guys, are ridiculous. What what is going on here? You have to like get a critical hit to actually damage him. It seems just ridiculous. Yeah, I rolled an 18 and I still missed. He has higher than 27 armor class. We we hit him right. Yep, yep. So you have to roll a. You just have to roll a um a 20. Which happens, you know, 5% of the time. But he has a really low armor class for this point in the game. Yeah, rolled a 17. Just, uh, you know, one of, the, one of our characters has to roll a 20 to hit him. Out of three, three guys, you know... Should happen. I'm gonna drink another potion of speed. Oh, there was a 19. Rolled a 19. 27. Rolling 27, 28. These are misses. Nobody can hit him without a critical hit. That's the crazy part. I think we only need to hit him once, though. I'm not sure if... Oh, there, there there, goes. Yeah, 105. Well, they gave you 105 experience. I don't know if it was worth all that time, but, you know. Also, somebody dropped something. That guy had really low armor class. Oh, and... Uh, by the way, I'm... Um, I can't rest here. I'm going to polymorph into a troll just to heal here. check out this door. Okay, this is going into the next room, which I'm not ready to go into yet. Die, unworthy foe. Taste the pain. Taste the pain. <laughs> I believe if your henchman dies here, you cannot get him back. So we got to be careful about that. This guy just disappeared. Yeah, he did. Dude, can you guys, like... Alright, I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm 
I have to unshift out of the troll form. Kind of plant a fireball in back of him here. If I could. Well, that helps. We have a big traffic jam at the door. There is a problem. Get in here, Grimna. Thank you. There we go. All right, that was unnecessarily long and drawn out. And they didn't actually drop anything, so. All right, but let's go down here. Another one, another one of these groupings of these guys. I like how they said that at the same time. <laughs> Fireball definitely helps there. Ah, no you don't. I might just fireball one more time. Just hit me with that. What was it? Melf's Afsidero? Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah. Okay. There's somebody back. All oh, right. I see. There's somebody back there casting stuff. You know what? I'm going to get out of here. Because we need to go heal and rebuff and all that. We can rest here, right? I assume. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alright, let's just let that work itself out. Ah, chapter 2. Chapter 2 lets you have a lot better items, thank God. Um, unfortunately, you still don't get the Boots of Speed, or I don't think you do. I think maybe you have a chance to get it, but um, you don't get to be able to buy the Boots of Speed until Chapter 3, so... Another rather long chapter of running around at uh, normal speed, unfortunately. Casting spells at normal speed. You even cast spells at half time when you're when you're hasted. It's crazy. <coughs> An extremely overpowered ability. Oh wait. Oh what? Wait. Look. Oh crap. Oh crap. Uh, crap. Well, you know what? Let's go through here, then. I, I didn't go through the right portal. In that case, let's go through here. And there's Jinkies. Jinkies? Jinkies, yep. That's his name. Does he drop anything? No. This is the back way. Uh, supposedly, I guess that guy that I killed has his has his son got caught up here or something. Really weird, actually. His son sells items. Johnny. Don't kill me. I'll do what you say. Just don't kill me. Who are you? Answer. I'm Johnny. Me and Dad, we run the whole, this whole storehouse. But some cult took over a few weeks ago. Some people of the eye. They killed a lot of Helmites, but left us alive to work. And now the boss, Dester, he's raising the, their dead bodies everywhere. Now Dad is dead, and there's zombies and stuff. I just want to work. I just want sort uh, want to sort the nails. What the hell? What does that mean? Um, if, work, if work calms you down, how about we do business? Simple business, okay, I could do that, but it's got to be fair, or I'll get into trouble this blows over anyway all right so he actually sells stuff this is your merchant I guess 
Uh, Moonstone Mask. What is this again? This is, okay, no, we don't need that. So he sells, eh, nothing special if I remember, recall. Oh, we did sell a summon creature level four. We gonna use that? We're probably not gonna use that. Probably not gonna use that. Um, but we are gonna use, you know, we might want to, uh, let's see. How many to kill? Maybe I could buy something that kills those undead out there. Haste, Phantasmal Killer. What is that? Oh, it's an instant death spell. Nah. Uh, wisdom, etc., etc. Oh, he's. Oh. I knew there was at least two of these bags of holding that you could get access to. Okay, yeah, um, I've got another 100% bag of holding, which is very nice. Oh, that's not there. Nope, 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 nope. It's right there. Very nice. I want as many of those as I can get. Oh, and he does sell fire arrows. Also sells lightning arrows. And acid arrows. Is the price right? The price is okay, I think. Um, Hero of the Vampire also. It was actually kind of cheap. Yeah, it was actually kind of cheap if I want Vampiric Heroes. Yeah, um, let's buy... Um, let's buy some Ice Heroes. Let's buy some Fire Arrows. Or Lightning Arrows and let's buy Fire Arrows. All of those because I'm going to be getting a bow at some point. So ammo, I don't know, goes in there maybe. That's where I'm gonna put my ammo. Okay. All right, cool. Yep. All right, Johnny. Good on you, bro. Um, actually, let's go down here because uh, we've got a chest that's um, very powerful that I think can only be opened. Well, either you got to be a really high-level thief, or, um, or you probably might want unlock or something like that. And I've got unlock, so from what, I, from what I remember, this this was supposed to be a pretty good chest right here. Zombie Lord. How do I open this thing? Uh, let's see, where's my unlock? There's my unlock. Let's go ahead and cast unlock. Should unlock this. And then also, I assume this is trapped. Oh yeah, it's trapped. I also, from what I remember, this was a pretty difficult trap, so it would probably one hit me. It cannot be done. Now, wait a minute now, wait a minute now. Knock has no effect on this thing. What the heck? How am I supposed to open this? It cannot be done. Piece of crap. My attack is denied. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's funny. Um, well, how are you supposed to open that thing then? I have never been able to open that thing. I thought it was a matter of picking. It's apparently it's immune to knock for some reason, and I didn't know there was anything in the game that was immune to knock. I wonder how you're supposed to open that. Maybe, maybe there's a key on a corpse over here. Always wanted to open that thing. You are so gonna feel some no potion of endurance, no. Yeah, 
great corpse. <laughs> Another corpse. I'm <coughs> I'm hoping to find the key for that chest on one of these corpses. Yari the knife. Cannot be done. Did he open that? I don't see any switch. Where's the switch? No switch over here. Isn't there a switch or what? No. Well, what's the trick here? How do I open this? Can't bash it from what they say. My attack is denied. No. Oh, I can just open this one. Greetings. I am Dumal, Watch Knight of Hell. It is good to see a face of reason amidst the ravings. I suppose being caged is better than torture, but at least those sessions I could pass out if, uh, if I tr if I tired of their rhetoric. Um, let's see here. Mm -hmm. Who are you? How did you get here? The hold was my home until it was infiltrated. A third member of uh, a third of our number were spies, betrayers. It was terrible. They killed most of us, but we weren't even their target. It was just to support an attack somewhere else. A day ago, Dester returned and seemed to have a new plan. I thought I was dead for sure, but I think he's forgotten about me. Um, what do you know of this cult? Madness. These people of the eye are all fanatics, content to be a cog in their master's machine, even if it takes no, even even if it makes no sense. Uh, they attacked Neverwinter for no reason, or at least no reason that they have been told. The plague would never have tasted, have lasted without them. Tasted. <laughs> they might be based out of the north, but I've heard that the people of the Eye, or their old ones before. But I've never heard of the people of the Eye, or, or their old ones before. Um, uh, I have to find uh, Dester. I have to go. Uh, I'd come with you, but I wouldn't be any help. I'm too weak. If you have any other questions, I'll be here to help uh, until the fighting stops. Um, do you have like um, you have like a key or something? Can I check your corpse for a key if you don't mind? Oh, 105 experience. That was pretty cool. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. How do I open this stuff? How do I open stuff, bro? No. It cannot be done. Oh, okay. It says, um, the locking mechanism on the door would allow you to open it or jam it closed permanently. Oh, open it. Yes, free, free. I will tell the old ones of your foolishness and weakness. Your time comes. It comes. Well All right. Well, nobody does. Nobody insults me and, and walks out alive, I can tell you that, bro. Nothing in your cage, you didn't, didn't really give an experience, you didn't drop anything. What the heck? How do I get in that chest that's crazy annoying? Well, there's a corpse there, I don't think I checked this. You know, potion of cure critical wounds and nothing else. There's got to be like a key or something. I can never get in this chest each time I play through this game, which is not very often. I can never get in this chest and it drives me nuts. It cannot be done. Let's try one more knock. Nothing. Let's try a magic um magic uh arrow, magic missile. It just absorbs those. It's like an invincible chest and I, I that that's annoying. Okay, well, I have no idea to get in that chest still after all this time. Let's go ahead and quaff a push to speed because I'm getting a little impatient here. Yep, 
Maybe you have to be a, a thief with lockpick, I don't know. Uh, yeah, that's the, that's has to be like the only chest in the game that doesn't uh, doesn't respond to knock. Restoration scroll goes here. We're going to be needing that, I think. You know what? I'm going to want to get out of here because this guy is going to kill me. Let's uh, shapeshift to a troll to heal. You guys drop anything interesting? I don't think so. And gym, which is useless. Let's go over here. I need to get a book or something. Uh, we've got something to do here with that. Uh, there's an altar uh, a little later. Healers get plus six. It's not too bad. That'll come in handy, I think. This goes outside to that courtyard that I can't take on because of those guys with that instant death thing. So we're going to skip that. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, you need a couple of items and one is up here. So I'm going to go ahead and go up here before we go back to the right there. And we're going to walk in that door. Back, back to wherever. Just a lot of undead, that's all. That's, I think that's it for this room, actually, once I get done with these guys. Alright. Uh, that should be all. Let's go in this room. I will overcome. I do miss Turn Undead, to be honest. I really do. Okay, well, there is something to maybe loot over here. Let's try that cabinet out. I don't think it's probably probably not anything great, but let's try it out anyway. 13 gold. There you go. Let's get my, um, my familiar over here before he dies. Did we, did we get them all? I guess we got them all. I will overcome. False Hellmite. Face the pain. Not quite. Oh, by the way, there's a trap right there I'm going to disarm because we need to check that. We need to check that bookshelf because that should have... Ah, the Book of Helm is one of the items I need to do a little ritual over here that's going to give me a, a bow that I can probably not match for a very long time. 
a very long time. I'm not going to be able to match the bow that I'm going to get over here. It's too bad there's no, like, really great staves, you know, for spellcasters in this game. It doesn't seem like, from what I can remember of flipping through the items, I don't remember any good staves. And all the staves you get, like, they cast, you know, minor spells that you don't even need to equip them to cast. And so I'm going to be using a... Um, I'm going to be using a bow, I think. Or at least I'm going to try it out. But I know you can get a really good bow here. Mm, Ocean of Antidote. No. Okay. Alright, well let's do it. <clears throat> um, banish the demon. Summon the Spirit of Helm. I believe this is correct. I am returned to preserve the heart of this place. The demon who suppressed me is banished, and I am free, guardian of Helm. You have allowed the will of Helm to return, yet your nature is tainted by evil. We shall be cautious allies. I offer you this assistance, an enchanted ring, an expertly crafted bow, or the strength of Helm to aid you. Okay, the magic weapon. I take the magic weapon, accept the gifts of Helm, use them to guard and to, uh, in the fulfillment of duty. Few are rewarded in this manner. Let's go elsewhere and fortify against the coming darkness. Go forth and do what must be done. All right. Yeah. Got a really, really nice item. Like I said, you won't be able to get access to an item like this probably till the end of the game. Um, it's a Elven Court Bow. Attack bonus plus three, which I believe means it's a plus three weapon and a mighty plus three. So it adds plus three of your strength bonus to uh, the damage. Pretty darn good. Like I said, I think this is probably the best bow you can get for a very, very long time. So, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to use a torch again in my life. So, we're going to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and enchant this. And then a bow is no good without ammo, so we're going to get some of our ammo over here. Let's try fire arrows, because they'll probably be effective against the enemies we find in here. Alright, so there we go. We got our bow. And a little bit of experience for that. Let's see, I've got... Um, I got yeah, 5,000 experience away from getting to where I need to get to. Actually, we might be able to kill the stuff out in the courtyard now. Let me go give it a shot really quick. Oh, wait. I'm going the wrong way. This will be good. I'll even, I'll even quaff Potion of Haste because uh, make me shoot a little bit quicker. Let's see. Here's the Bodak. Oh, wait. He's immune to fire, isn't he? I have the wrong arrows equipped. Okay, so did I hit him? I indeed did. Nine physical. That's the start. Okay, I believe I can kill this guy now. So, yeah, that's going to make a difference. Okay, so let's take, let's try the lightning arrow. Let's put the fire arrow away. Alright, well we got him. Okay, good. Let's kill the skeleton priest too. Um... Three points of physical. Okay. All right. Another Bodok, which needs to be killed for sure. Uh, but I don't need to be, like, near the skeleton priest when I do it, do I? Uh, 
I could use, like, True Strike. Let's just cast that real quick. That'll give me, like, one... Uh-oh. Oh, Alright. True Strike Solar, you wore off before I had a chance to use it. Not bad. Okay, cool. But we did manage to uh, take this, this courtyard now with that. Almost, almost thinking I should have played an arcane archer here, but because I mean, you know, that's a good bow. It's a really good bow. You get access to it really early. Yeah. So well, that's okay. We pick sorcerer. We're gonna stick with sorcerer. Oh yeah, once I go up here, I do believe I will not be able to go back or rest or anything. So we're going to get our rest in right now. So we have all of our stuff queued up here. I'm just going to cast Bull Strength and uh, the... Oh, man. Oh, well, that's okay, I guess. Low rolls on those, though. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. Yeah, not bad. So this next part can be kind of trying sometimes. Not too bad, but I guess I'll go ahead and buff Grim Grimna with bull strength. <clears throat> now the thing is, Deathster can cast a couple of like instant death spells. I guess who? Here I am, the fool. My stay here with the dead has taught me more in a few hours than. Than I deserve. He's a traitor. Dester. I helped him and then followed, hoping his deception was a mistake. I thought he would. He will return, won't he? Uh. Uh. Don't play games. You are in league with him. No. Yes. I don't know. He'll come back to help the people. The people. I calmed their fears when they doubted. The blessing is a gift, I said. This man cares, I said. I killed them. I killed them all by believing in him. Unless, unless I helped him. And then he comes back. If he comes back, then I was right. I helped him. Uh, let's see. He deceived us, betrayed us. But if I help him and he returns to Neverwinter, I help them. Uh, let's see here. Uh... I must find Desther. What do you intend to do? I... I don't know. I can't go back. Not yet. You... You can find him. Find Desther. Make him recant. Make him say he didn't betray us. Make him say I didn't let the people die because of him. Um... Heh <laughs> Uh... Why shouldn't I kill you right now? I... I don't know. There's nothing I could do except... Except try to help. If he recants, everything will be fine. Leave me. I'll wait for the guards. I swear it. There's nothing else I could do. Oh boy, you dodo. Alright. Uh, I can't kill him. I'm pretty sure they won't let me kill him. But it's tempting. Okay, so first I'm going to go ahead in these side rooms here. And kill these undead in here. Is there another ah there's another borak right there oh god no don't don't do your thinking freaking thing there don't do it I'm 
actually a pretty good shot with that, aren't I? Despite being a sorcerer, I'm doing okay. But it's nice not to have to go in there like, you know, really close. Which essentially, like, you know, it crowds the target and, and it also makes me vulnerable. Magic Rod, well, really. Oh yeah, the Bodax drop a tooth, and that is good for crafting, I guess, and I have no idea what you craft with it, but, you know, pick it up anyway. Skeleton Mage and Ghoul Lord. Doing pretty good damage, look at that, 13 damage. Uh, with a bow, right? And I'm I'm just a regular sorcerer. I'm, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Didn't drop anything at all. Okay, fair enough. Here we go. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, there goes the Spectre, weak zombie. Dude, Dester, get get out of here. Not in the mood. Take your ritual creatures, though. What in the bloody heck? Oh, yeah. Um. Heh. <laughs> Good. Um. Good. Good thing I have that uh, major fi uh, robe of fire resistance on there. That could have hurt. I'm going to have to quaff a little potion there. There we go. All right, familiar died. Okay, uh, yeah, he could be kind of a pain in the ass. Not challenging, but a pain in the ass, especially if he if he rolls with those uh, those spells that insta kill you. If you roll a one, like I did one time with my cleric. Oh, what in the heck? Uh-oh, we got a problem. Alright. I'm getting out of here. What happened to my minions here? Okay, I'm gonna have to change shape change to a troll or something. Actually, I don't think a troll will be strong enough. We're going to shape change to, uh, let's see, a, um, Umber Hulk time. Umber Hulk is, uh, it's going to lead me to victory here. There we go. Die, all of you. Do I have any special abilities because of this guy? Another one down. This, uh, this skeleton chieftain is just kind of sitting there, like, ho-hum. Yeah, I'm not sure what he's doing. Where'd this other specter come from? The, the thing about the Ember Hulk... Whoops, and I just dropped my water. The thing about the Ember Hulk is it has true scene, so the specter, I believe, has concealment. Ah, but I guess it doesn't matter. I just saw it right here. It says target concealed. Is it because I missed? Or no? No, I attacked I attacked Spectre. And I guess yeah, I guess I missed anyway. Huh. Even with true true ceiling that still doesn't pierce through that concealment apparently. Alright, well it's almost dead anyway. 
There we go. 45 experience, not too bad. How we doing? Alright. Now I'm coming for you, bro. Just don't just don't get lucky with any of those instant death spells and I'll be fine. Because I don't have any protection against those. That's interesting. Damage reduction. Dester's just sitting there, you know. He's chilling. So is this guy. So where's five points of physical damage? Damage reduction is five points. This is frustrating because I should be doing pretty much quite a bit of damage here with 25 strength. You would think. This is really weird. All right, let's get a little help here, I guess, huh? That's not, that's not enough. It's not enough, it's not cutting it. Well, do we have any, you know, I guess, well, I guess I could throw some, oh, there's, there we go. I don't know, I guess we could just beat him up this way, uh, or I could unshift and, and uh, maybe hit him with um, some long-range damage here. There you go. And now, Dester! Not bad! Uh, his AI just decided he's gonna stay there for a little while and chill. Um... Time for Potion of Speed, I think. Whoa! Okay, good. He's, he's picking on my uh, my minion there. All right, there we go. There is no point in continuing this fight. You, you will want me alive anyway. Yep, I suppose I will. Maybe. All right, so there's a bunch of good stuff to loot in here, though. We're gonna loot it. Holy water, lesser restoration, invisibility, etc. Uh, holy water can go in this bag. Potion of speed. Speed, potion of bark skin, potion of bless, potion of clarity, potion of endurance. And then we got dragon's blood, potion of lore, etc. This is all stuff I'm probably just going to sell. Dragon's blood can go in there. Then we got this room over here. Oh, I remember it's got some pretty nice loot. I like that bow that I have. I swear to God, I'm almost, I'm almost regretting not taking arcane archer. wonder if it's too late to switch. It might be. No traps. A dagger unidentified. That might be like a plus two dagger from the looks of it. Oh, baby, did I get it? Oh, my God, I might have got it. Hold on just a second. I've got to find out. I've got to find out if this is what I think it is. And it might be. Oh, it isn't. Oh. Oh, it isn't. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I thought that might be that, that Sorcerer's Helm. That's a dagger plus two. So this must be a dagger plus three or something. Oh, no, it's not. It's Toggett's Talon plus one bonus in Keen. Eh, not that good. Well, that's, that's kind of disappointing. I thought maybe um, when I saw that helm, I thought there's a helm that gives you bonus spells as a sorcerer. I thought that was it, but it's not. That's unfortunate. All right. Well, darn. Nothing else to do. I am undone. Take your bow, friend. You have your traitor. But now I wonder. Um. You have time to explain yourself, Dester. You have questions, of course, but I don't have answers. I will not give you the satisfaction, nor will I give you uh, give it to the mob that awaits in Neverwinter. Your victory shall be hollow. Where is the cure? Of course, the cure. Don't you worry, it is here. Not that it matters. The plague would have ended soon enough without my false helmite spreading it. You may save a few of your worst cases, I suppose, but the damage is already done. The plague has sapped the strength of the city. I did what it was intended. 
Uh, let's see. I have the cure. When you return me to Lord Nasher, the cure will be delivered as well. No need to scramble about searching. I have no more reason to defy you now. Um, enough. I'm taking you back to Neverwinter right now. Don't rush on my account. I know what awaits me. My fate is sealed. There's comfort in that. It is better, I'll wager, than the uncertainty awaiting you. All right. End of chapter one. And unfortunately, I didn't get the helm. Oh my god. Dester's punishment was brutal, but his death brought little satisfaction. The horrors of the Wailing Death could not be undone with his execution. Those that had suffered now turned on each other. They looked for someone to blame, and found it in Dester's closest friend, Fenthic. The letter of the law found him negligent, and he was hanged as a sacrifice to appease the bloodthirsty mob. If any thought the sentence unjust, they remained silent. Duty required all to act as one. It was not the time for divided loyalties. The cult behind Dester's treachery still had to be found. The hunt led to the coastal town of Port Last. From here, the heroes of Neverwinter would continue the search for those behind the Wailing Death. And vengeance would be taken. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, well... You know, it's kind of strange that the, the mob was so angry because, you know, we did actually recover the cure anyway, and, you know, all was well after that, right? So, you know, uh, this is a rod of terror and it's crap. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah, this belt. Oh, it's belt of, uh, it gives 5% against, uh, or 5, uh, slashing resistance. That's pretty good. Cool. I'm gonna get. Uh, um, I'm probably gonna get all those belts, by the way. Um, uh, and actually, this would be the chapter to buy them because I think after this chapter you can't buy them anymore. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and save and take a break.